Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, right, today we've come back to uh, the same location we were in the other day. And we're going to be using the uh, Crane Trangia knockoff cook set. Uh, just stopped in the shop and got some mess. I hadn't had them for ages. So, yeah, we're going to get a brew on. Not as nice here today as it was yesterday, but at least it's dry at the moment. Right. So, I'm just going to be making some coffee. I got some uh, somewhere. Coffee sachets. Nice and simple. But let's get the stove going. All right, then, guys. So, just to get this set up a minute. <laughs> as you can see, this is pretty new. But I have used it before, as you can see. So to simply set it up, we'll have to pass the stand to the bottom. Let me get the strap off. Right. Okay, we've got the stand there at the bottom. And we get. Get your thing put the screwed, just sit, sit on there. And what we're gonna have to do is use this one to boil the water, and then we'll put this one over the top, like that. Just slightly move this camera, and uh, we'll get the stove filled up and get it brew on because it's absolutely freezing. All right then, I think I've got it kind of sussed out. Okay, so we put some water in here. Uh, not as much as I did yesterday. I put way too much in, that should be plenty for two cups, do you think? Yeah, I reckon. Or maybe a little bit more. A little bit more, just... Yeah, that's 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 yeah there we go, a touch more, right then. Yeah, we're both out again today, guys, and... Uh, I'm a dog. Yeah, and we got the old wog with us, so... Right, the old woofy's out. I hope uh, the audio is alright on you and it's not getting whacked out because I'm going with mic plugged in. Not exactly sure how much we need, but I can always stub it out anyway. But Right, so we just slide down there. Get the old <laughs> rocky top. Now, the, the one thing I don't like about mass cutters, guys, is you can't really see when they're lit. Right, I think. Right, so that's lit now. We'll just give it a minute to... Uh, Start to come through the holes, so it's a very technical word for it, but I can't I can't think what it's called at the minute. Oh gee, right. <laughs> yeah, like I said, uh, Yeah, like I said, that's the one thing I don't really like about mass cutters is uh, you can't really see it burning too well. That's why I don't tend to use them that much, but <laughs> but today's video, that's what we're going to do. Right, so we will we'll start the uh, stopwatch again, like we did yesterday. See how long that takes to boil. And uh, yeah, I'll periodically check it in between, so we catch you in a bit. Right, so the good thing about these cutters, guys, that is super stable. Look at that. That's not going anywhere. Really, really stable. And this is not the best of ground, to be fair. But, uh, yeah. So they are really stable. And uh, not bad in size either. All right, guys. So we're at the two-minute mark gone. Um, the, now, the gel we used yesterday... It was already on a pretty good boil. I 
and that's warm, but that's about it. Ah, I think it's going to take a bit longer than the uh, fire gel, guys. Unless I get bored and bang a fire gel in there, because I have got one. Uh, fire gel we use is uh, the BCB Fire Dragon. With these, if you didn't see uh, yesterday's demonstration of using one of these guys, I'll put a link down below where you can uh, go and check it out in a tuna tin. Oh, I just checked it, guys, and uh, we are on five and a half minutes, and it is coming out of the holes properly, whatever you call it. Is it blooming, pluming, something like that? I can't remember. But uh, yeah, the reason I kind of choose to come back to this place, guys, is because of this sheltered rock I've got by here, and it's not really much windier anyway. Um, ah, she's up there with the old woofy. Uh, there's not much wind here anyway. You're lucky you made that. I was filming that. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's see how it's doing. <laughs> right, we're still waiting, guys. Still waiting. It's only a matter of time for this dog does one, guys. Can't fully be trusted, can you? <laughs> right, we're at a 10 minute mark, guys. We are going there. Still not quite, though. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Right. So today, guys, the coffees are these things, and they don't open very good. All right. So that's gonna make life a bit more complicated for my stirrer as well. But oh. <laughs> still do it though. There you are, doggy. Right. As always, guys, we're going to take everything on with us. Hold that. Leave no trace. Right. <clears throat> Surely that's got to be done by now. Like, we're on, like, that much. 12 minutes now, guys. Don't touch it. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty much done. I'll <laughs> give it a, <laughs> I'll give it another minute and then uh, we'll get it pulled out. Alright then guys, so time check. 14 minutes. So Yeah, that's done enough now. We'll only end up sitting here waiting for the coffee to cool down otherwise. And I put half of a, I filled it half full of mess, which is sort of that much out of a small bottle. Sort of, it's not much. And as you can see, it's still going. So we get the snubbing thing over it, that should put it out. I tried to make the dog do a runner here. Yeah. Alright, once again guys, too much water but that's enough for washing up. Right, that should be out. If it is. And then what I'll do, I'll put this top on it. Once it's cooled down, I'll put the top on and leave our mess in there then. Ready for uh, next time I use it. 
which will be soon. Other than that, you'll have to take it out, really. But, um, right, we get these coffees down us, guys. And catch you, uh, catch you for an update, a summary, and what we think at the end. Oh, right, pack up time, guys. What I have, oh, I tell you what, I did forget. Oh, no. Was that? Uh, my wiping device. Never mind. So I'll fill up my cup with this, ready for when she finishes hers. I'll try it off later, but right. yeah, that's cool now. And like I said, we've got a bit left in there. I just say cool, it's not um, cold. Right, so, see? That's all ready to go. Next time, if I was out sort of camping or something, I'd just leave it full, you know? But, being as I'm not. We'll get it all squared away. That's where it goes. Oh, don't go that way, do I? That goes in first. Ah, right. Yeah, I've got to lift up. Those. Slide that in. I always keep some gel in here, guys, just in case, because you can use that as well. In there, then. I'll put the rubbish in there. I'll make me uh, dry it off then when I get on. Right, so we put the strap around. I'll do that off camera. Right, there we go, guys, all squared away. Um, I'm still waiting. I just for it to finish hers. Was it warm enough? Yeah. Yeah, so there we go guys, it was warm enough. I can't remember how long it was, 12 minutes or something. Mm. Alright guys, so there we go. There it is up against my water bottle. And uh there's probably about the same size there, but I'll um, yeah. There we go. So we're back out in the uh, in the wind from behind the shelter now. So um, overall, yeah, it is pretty good. Not as good as the uh, tuna tin we used yesterday. A bit slower, but uh, I'm not sure. Did I let it warm up enough first? But either way, it works and uh, it's pretty good. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Why not subscribe? Because there's uh, loads more videos to come. Back out camping in the car. And uh, and all sorts there. Right, cheers for watching guys. Stay safe. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.